Hey, it's Fergie with RecordingCrave.com. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I greatly appreciate it. Hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if you would subscribe. And if you like the video when it's done, I would love it if you'd click the like button. That'd be awesome. Thank you so much. Hey, in this video, I want to talk to you today about putting delay on acoustic guitar. Acoustic guitar and delay. Let's jump into this. Let me just play a little bit of this track here and I'll show you what I am talking about. a little 12 bar blues type feel of a song and it started out with acoustic guitar it started out with this guitar here so I'm gonna bypass the delay that I have on this guitar for just for the moment just to let you hear what it sounds like all by itself I'm gonna bypass the verb too and this was just a direct signal there was no mics on this or anything what I did was I created this track for a friend who was who does this poetry stuff and he has this music bed underneath his poetry and that's why I created this track so when I first came up with uh, the idea for this number here uh, was just this little guitar part very repetitive and it, it would do the 12 bar blues thing and then what I did was I added this guitar that one pan to the right in the little arpeggio to the left so once I had the bed track done for that I added some drums which is just a drum loop kind of a nice little groove there at 83 beats per minute and then what I did was added this bass line that I added a little lead guitar because I'm a guitar player and I like leads and that goes like this then I added some strings on top of that so what the strings does adds that top part to the registry there of the overall sonic quality of the mix but it was still missing something. So let me unsolo all these again. It was still that acoustic guitar was just a little boring for me in my taste. So what I had done there was a little trick that I will often do on other instruments that I record, be it a keyboard or electric guitar. I thought I'm gonna try it on acoustic, see if it works. And I think it did. So first thing I usually do is I'll add a little reverb that'll help. Okay, so let me show you what this sounds like without delay, and then I'll turn the delay on, and then I'll turn it off again, and then we'll look at what I did to the delay settings. I'm gonna turn the delay on. Oh, just got a little bigger, did you? Did you feel that? Wanna bypass it? Oh, you can hear what that's doing. Just gives it space. It just makes the sound big and ethereal, which is what I wanted. And what I did there was, even though the delay is set in stereo mode here, what I had done here is taken this delay module from Avid. It's the um, Mod Delay 3. So I turned everything on the left side of this delay off, and I turned everything on the right side of the delay up to 100%. So any delay would just be going out the right side. Then what I did was I set the delay that to set at 420, and the repeats are set up to 24% on that feedback there. The low pass filter is just left as is. 
So even though this says sync, it's not really synced up. So let's play a little bit of that again with the acoustic guitar soloed up. So I love this little trick because it just creates this ethereal space that this track needed on that acoustic guitar and it just completes the entire portion of the song. It's off. It sounds like a huge difference. Back on and you can hear what that's doing. Yeah, I love it. So that is a neat little trick just to give it some more space without adding a bunch of other instruments and adding that delay over there on the opposite side of the source sound gives it an ethereal effect and some space to the overall mix. So hopefully you found that helpful. It was helpful for me. I do this trick a lot. Maybe you do it too. I would love to hear any other tricks that you have to make a spacious ethereal type sound on a track or anything that will help an acoustic. So, hey, this is Fergie saying thank you so much for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe. If you liked the video, I would love it if you click the like button. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.